Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate spectacular volcano. It's really easy to do, really easy to make. Uh, it only takes a few minutes. Well, you have to let it dry for an hour, but it only takes a few minutes. And it uses the Mentos and um, carbonated soda technique, but we make a volcano out of it. So what you need is you need some um, safety gear, glasses, gloves, Mentos, some aluminum foil, a um, two-liter bottle of carbonated soda, a board, and some a, a product called Great Stuff. This is a an insulating material that um, you insulate windows and door cracks with. There are two different types. You want to use the red can type, the stuff that um, dries solid. The blue isn't appropriate because it dries kind of soft, and you want a solid. So we, we don't use the blue. We use the red. So all you do is now um, let me let me give you a quick overview. Um, I've I want to make mine rechargeable. I want to take the two-liter bottle out so I can use it again and again and put another bottle in there. So what I've done is I've got a hole in my board that will fit the bottle through. You don't have to do that. You can actually take your two-liter bottle of soda, put it right on a board, and then put the great stuff on it to form your volcano. The thing about that is when you, if you want to use it again, you have to refill it from the top. So with the way I'm going to do it, I'll be able to take the bottle out and put another bottle in and fire it off again real quick. So you have to do this. Follow all safety instructions on great stuff. Um, this is not for children to do. This stuff, you have to wear a safety gear, and um, you have to be careful. It's also very flammable, so you can't do it near any, any, any fire, and you have to do it in an insulated place. But all you do is you take the great stuff, and you apply it right to the... See, so this is going to form as a nice volcano here. Okay, I've completed making the shape of my volcano. Now I'm going to let it sit for an hour, and we'll see how that looks. And once it's done, I'll be able to paint it and make it look like a real volcano. Uh, make sure you do this in a well-insulated area, preferably outdoors, because um, the fumes are toxic.